Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. Today's reading is an interesting topic. The topic is what was taken from you and we're going to have guidance from the sun on this occasion. How I came up with this reading idea was I was contemplating well, I was contemplating the Aboriginal people of Australia, actually, <laughs> and I'll show you the deck that I received. Um, it's this blue card here, the saltwater reading cards. So you can see that there, it's a beautiful set um, of cards here. And yeah, Aboriginal Australia, you know, I mean, contemplating the Aborigines this time really got me thinking about you know, I'll just put all of this back got me thinking about this topic of you know this land was taken from them right and in our lives in our short lives that we live things will be taken from us you know um, our innocence might be taken from us or our dignity or you know all kinds of things right material things can be taken from us lots of things can be taken and when I was contemplating that concept and then I started contemplating the planets the Sun really stood out to me and I kind of felt like the Sun came forward to the rescue to say that nothing can be taken from you okay nothing right the sun is your soul the sun is where you shine the sun is who you are that can never be touched that can never be taken from you uh, but i ordered the salt water reading cards i've also got the book here the book right by my side it's a beautiful book the diagrams are so lovely let's have a look here there's a crab here um a giant clam there's all kinds of beautiful hermit crab so there's lots of beautiful, beautiful imagery in here as well. But yeah, we've got the Aboriginal people of this country. I was hoping that of all the decks that I received in the mail recently, because I've been buying all these different decks so I can do these readings, I really wanted this one to come first so that then I could acknowledge the Aboriginal people of the land. This comes as the third reading. I did the Rahu one, the Venus one, now we're doing the Sun. Um, so... I'll acknowledge the people now and I've got it written by my side I'm just going to read it out um, so that there's a, an acknowledgement of the traditional owners of this land so as I say I should have done this on the first reading that I ever did but um, because this salt water deck hadn't arrived I'm doing it now and um, I'm, this is the first time I'm ever using this set so I really want to acknowledge the Aboriginal people right now I'm gonna do that so this is my first use of the saltwater reading cards I'd like to thank the original owners of the land I'm on the Walla Medigal people quoting the Australian Centre for International Justice we acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the lands on which we work and pay our respects to the indigenous elders past present and emerging Sovereignty has never been ceded. It always was and always will be Aboriginal land. And that's a beautiful line there that I found on the, um, the Australian Centre for International Justice website. You know, this land will always be theirs. And, I, and that message could be coming from the sun itself, um, which is pretty amazing. So I've got written on my notes, um, that quote shows why the sun is part of this reading. Yeah. Please know that what, no matter what was taken from you in the past, your dignity, your innocence, etc., know that your sun can heal you. Your soul shines intact forever. Nothing can be taken from you. Okay. Uh, I've got another note written here. Also interesting to note that the word Walla Medigo means snapper. Okay. That's a fish, right? And all three salt water cards, I have seen the cards in advance. I know what's in the groups. I, I study them briefly before I do the readings. Uh, yeah, it, the, the Walla Medigal, the word means fish, right? Um, and all three salt water cards feature fish. 
and that's really fascinating because not all of them do in this in this deck there are a lot of sea creatures but every single one like this one's mangroves as you can see here so how amazing is that right okay now um so all of them feature fish and I just thought that was really cool and to me that's a real sign that the Wallamid Eagle people are with us in this reading so it's very very special that we have them with us today so I think I'm going to get into the readings guys um, as always pick between group one pick between group two or group three the other thing I want to say just briefly is I'm shooting this on my iPhone so hopefully the sound is good hopefully the visuals are good let me know if you have issues with either and I'll do something about it okay so why don't we start with group number one welcome group one welcome to your reading just going to grab these cards and spread them out in some way that we can see them all oh and i'll show you what they look like so that you get a feel for the imagery okay so we've got 33 starfish isn't that lovely i must remember to always give you a chance to see them first because i tend to think i mean things will pop into your intuition as you look at these okay and that is really important consider these readings as intuition training right so wow look at that number eight fire ignition that is so beautiful so yeah you can kind of consider these as intuition training you'll be able to build up your intuition as you listen to what I say don't just take everything what I say use your intuition your intuition will tell you what's correct for you and what you should discard okay we've got the three of wands upright i love the colors they are so wonderful just gonna pop that there for now actually we've got a bit of room we're okay the sun upside down reversed i should probably say another beautiful card and we have the four of pentacles in reverse okay now where is our sun positioned our sun our glorious sun is positioned in the second house this is the sidereal vedic uh, north indian style chart all right so what are we looking at here it's a really interesting spread this one symbols is your main oracle card and it's your main oracle guidance card that's really here to tell you that it is important at this time that you look for symbols and signs in your world so they will come through via you know songs um feathers on on your path uh what other things pennies on the street you know I, I went through a phase of finding pennies and even like i've found gold coins like two dollar coins here in australia <laughs> there was a phase where i kept just finding two dollar coins everywhere i even had um a ten dollar note one time <laughs> and in australia uh, uk of course i get pennies a lot but um look out for things around you is is what i'm saying the divine is wanting to speak to you at this time and possibly someone who's crossed over is, is really just wanting to share their love to send their love to say hello i think any symbols or guidance or anything that's coming through to you at this time is coming just your angelic team is just wanting to say we love you we think you're amazing you're doing great earth school is tough right now keep doing what you're doing so that is coming through in this card definitely there's a huge amount of fire energy here right it's very exciting look at the amount of red and look at the amount of oranges and yellows so we're really dealing in your world right now with first chakra second chakra and third chakra and i would say that this spread and this reading is really guiding you and asking you to be your creative self 
regardless of what's going on around you okay um, there's somebody around you and the reason I'm saying that is because we've got Sun in the second here um, and it's not that's the other thing about this reading I, I don't feel like it's someone around you immediately I feel like this is this is possibly criticism that has come from childhood okay for some reason you're not allowed to be your full joyous self there's something here that anytime you become very exuberant you become really joyous you become really excited and you're laughing or you're having a wonderful time or there's somebody i believe from your childhood or something like that who would cramp your style or tell you oh you know it's not that funny or um someone who's a bit of a downer <laughs> basically um somebody has has been like that in your world and that's what I'm seeing as the answer to the question what was taken from you I've got the answer here that your ability to set your own limits right that you can only be so happy you can only be so joyous you're not allowed to be outrageously wild and have fun and be crazy and be silly right it's like um, there are limits as to how much fun you can have and I do believe that the purpose of this spread is saying to you that it's time that you burn that up now okay burn up that those old limitations you don't need those anymore right uh, ignition fire you don't need those old limitations and actually I was, gonna, I was wondering if I was going to do this I will do it I happen to have some matches <laughs> right here I've always wanted to do this on a, a video where I talk about the elements in astrology I will do this but I'm doing this especially for you right now why don't we burn this don't worry I'm not going to do anything crazy I just want to burn boy come on there we go we got it I just want to burn this uh, match for you because this is the flame of your life this little flame here that's you all right and the flame always gets lit in the first house and then this is an earth house actually the second house but I'm going to blow this out now all right so how fantastic but look at that look at the charred stuff there that's the past I'll put it this way that's the past you cannot light that anymore that's gone that's finished that's over all right those old limitations from childhood anything that's old from your childhood that is gone it's burnt up it's finished it's done look what's in front of you whoops oh, <laughs> I'm looking at the screen rather than my hand look what's in front of you this live wood right and that's this that live wood oh dear well I'm making quite a mess here today aren't I there we go <laughs> that live wood is this this card is asking you to strategize what do you want to do what do you because your flame is is, is is moving right the time is ticking things are going okay what do you want to do with the blank slate in front of you with the live wood that's there how do you want to grow what do you want to do what do you want to be you got to strategize that now really important and fun and creative right there's a huge amount of creativity here there's creativity written all over this this is a really really creative spread this is for those of you who are ready to take your creativity to the next level this card is showing me that this is actually a good card upside down I like it because it's showing me that you're relaxing around material things you know that and, and, and this can also be a card which is showing that you've come to a place of maturity and we are dealing with the Sun and this is about maturing this is about growing up this is about becoming that adult and so you're moving past the limitations of childhood you know that you have to do that you know that you can set your own limits 
The other thing is that when it comes to money, I think you realize that that is just an energy that will be there for you. There's a loosening here that you are letting go. You are realizing that money will just be there as you need it. Your guides are going to provide that for you. They are going to step in and provide that for you. Don't worry too much about this. And I think you know that because it's upside down. If it was the other way, I'd be having to say things like, maybe you have to let go a bit when it comes to money. But I think you're letting go. I think you realize that money is an energy that will just be there for you and your guides are going to help you do that. What you need to do is don't worry about anybody who's putting limitations on your fun, on who you are, on your joy. You can be as joyous as you want. You set the limits as to how you want to feel. That's so important. Don't let anyone else set your limits, right? Um, the fire is burning up the old stuff. Okay, that flame that is you is growing and you're, you know, yeah, it's beautiful. It's, this is a really beautiful spread. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to say here? I'm just trying to think. I think I've covered everything. Have I covered everything? I think I have, you know. I'm just feeling like there's something I've forgotten. Money, you know that that's okay. Yeah, don't let anyone set your limits. You can be as creative as you want to be. You can be as wild and fun as you want to be. You can have an opinion. You know, you're not going to offend people. I think there can be some of that um, in this spread. There can be that feeling of, you know, when I'm exuberant, when I'm joyous, when I hold a strong opinion, it doesn't work for me. The sun is saying speak as well from this position here. Speak. Say who you are. These two are encouraging you. This is doing the work of burning up all that old stuff that you don't need. And this is your time to really strategize the future. I'm really excited. It's, it's, um, there's a beautiful creative energy here for you. So I hope I've answered the question, what was taken from you? Yeah, what was taken from you? Your ability to set your own limits. Ah, that's what I wanted to say. That's what I forgot. The thing of maturing. You are maturing. Okay, you're taking your creativity to the next level. You've got a new understanding when it comes to money. And the other thing um, that I'm seeing here about maturing is that, yeah, it, it's like, you're self-parenting you're doing it for yourself okay you know that you need to be you need to forgive um, and let go of your parents as well that they did so much you've got you're going to have a new understanding if you don't have this already but um, it's coming in for you deeper and stronger this concept of um, that you're now ready to strategize in, in a more mature way where you are your own authority that's it. That's what I was trying to come to. Yes. In this spread, you are coming to deeper levels of being your own authority. Okay. So where your parents failed or didn't do the right thing or didn't say the right thing or whatever, you're able to forgive them. You're able to let go. You're able to let that be burnt up and gone. Right. Let it go. Let that go. You can't relight that old charred stuff. Where did I put the match? Did I throw it out already? Well, maybe I did. But I think group one, I think that is going to be the reading for today. I really hope that this helped. Uh, it's beautiful. And you are coming into newer, deeper states of maturity. And I think really that's um, the essence of this reading. You're also very lucky. There's going to be signs and symbols coming out for you. Look out for your guides. They're wanting to say hello. Uh, that's being indicated here. But this is quite glorious, actually. And um, in terms of what was taken from you, you know, you can easily give that to yourself now. You can, you can define the limits. You can express yourself creatively. You can strategize um, your future with, a, with a, an even deeper sense of inner authority and, um, and maturity. So thank you so much, Group One. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, group two. I got your cards. I'm just going to spread them out now. First up, we have got, oh wow, yeah, the fish card. Beautiful. I love the colors in this. As with any reading I do, please use your intuition as we go. Listen out for what strikes you as being important. Discard anything that is not. 
Um, also, if you feel like this reading isn't for you, you can just click off and watch another video, you know. Um, but it might be for you. It might grip you and it might you might be like, oh, yeah, I need to be here. So if that's the case, keep watching. Uh, we've got expansion north. Looks like there's a bit of a compass happening there. That is absolutely beautiful. See, I'm trying to see how that... Oh, there we go. <laughs> trying to lay these out properly. Okay, so we've got the world card in reverse. Right. Can't quite see. The camera is slightly in the way. Doesn't matter. <laughs> well, it's a bit wonky. Oh dear. Do we have any Virgos? <laughs> Do we have any Virgos in the room? Okay. We have the moon card in reverse. Look at that. Beautiful card. Love that one. And we've got the strength card in reverse. Okay. Where's your sun? We've got sun in the seventh house. All right. This is a very interesting spread and I hope I do it justice because yes, I was contemplating these cards just a short while. I just look at them a bit before I hit record. Um, I don't spend too long. But my goodness, this is this this one's yeah, this we're gonna have to do some talking here. <laughs> okay. We've got a lot of cards in reverse. I'm just, I'm just going to get stuck in. The, the reason this one's a bit complicated is because um, there could be two people, uh, two types of people who are watching this one video, okay, this one group. So what are the different types of people? So this could be you, this spread could be you, or this could be someone in your world. And I'm just going to, I think it's probably for most of my audience, this is someone in their world as opposed to being them. But I'm just going to say what I see, okay? Um, yeah, okay, let's, let's get into this. This is, <laughs> this is a bit of a tricky one to do. There's basically somebody, I'm going I'm to do this, that this is in your world, because I think it's a little bit easier to do. Somebody in your world who is... Um, upset with the world at large okay they're not happy with the world at large and this could be to do with the state of the world COVID um, election all this kind of thing right somebody's just absolutely not happy with the world could be you but it could be somebody in your world they're not using their intuition and they're in a state of doubt or confusion and it is to do with external reality right um, and I think the spiritual teachings are not helping this person. They might love all the spiritual teachings and all the spiritual stuff, but they're not applying it. And they're confused, they're overwhelmed, they, um, they don't know what to pick and what to do. The other thing I thought about this group, which was really interesting, is that, okay, so we've got our guidance in pink here. But I tell you who and what we're dealing with. We're dealing with someone who's got energy here and here. So Rahu Ketu axis running on this axis. Um, so we're talking somebody with a lot of uh, Pisces or Virgo. We're also talking about somebody who's this, right? They're running some of this Gemini Sag. So this could be you or the person that you know. What I'm going to do in a shorthand way is say that this person is a Jupiter Mercury type person. They're very strongly Jupiter Mercury. Could be you, could be the person in your world who's upset with the world, they're angry with the world, they're angry with people, everything's bad out there kind of thing. That is what I'm seeing here. This person has lost touch with their um, compass. They're, uh, and this card is really representing that what, what is everybody's compass? What, where, where is everybody's true north? Or, you know, and it, in the Vedic system, 
we have the east here, we have the west here. So what do we have here? We have north, right? And that's your heart, that's your home. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really um, interesting situation where the person has lost touch with their heart. Home is where the heart is, you know. Um, your true north is where the heart is. It's like, where is your heart? This person is very much up in their head, which is why I'm saying there's a lot of Jupiter Mercury going on. They're getting lost and confused in the world. Okay, now this might seem like not, not a very flattering or great card to this person because the other thing is there's a lot of major arcana here. This person is, is high up there. This is a high quality, intelligent, amazing, brilliant person. So it could be you, <laughs> it could be someone in your world, right? They're very high up there, intelligent, everything but the world right now is a mess and it's confusing and there's doubt and there's no intuition and they've lost touch with this the solution is going to be in learning okay and when we learn we are a student and when we're a student we're taking stuff in okay and this person as a solution needs to learn and needs to take stuff in the answer is yeah, it's, it's, it's a complicated situation, what's going on here. I, and I'm trying to be as um, diplomatic as I can in my words. I don't want to offend anyone, I really don't. One of the things I love about tarot audiences is that they're so kind in the comments. And that's one of the reasons why I want to do these, because I think it attracts really nice, kind people. So I hope, um, I hope you know, I'm not triggering anything. Um, the other answer here is given by the sun. Uh, and um, the answer here is given by the sun that is to be empathetic that the person if it's you or if it's the person in your world um, well if it's the person in your world you need to be more empathetic towards them and understand where they are right so that's y your job but if you are the person who hates the world and is confused and your intuition isn't helping you you need to get into the shoes of the other person, okay? That is what's going to help at this time. I did actually write a note um, about the question, what was taken from you? For you guys, I wrote it down uh, the following. Yeah, this is important. Your emotions have robbed you of logic, reason, and common sense. You know when someone's really highly emotionally triggered, like they absolutely hate like, it, okay, it, here's an example, the world. Um, if so-and-so wins the election, I'm going to leave the country or I'm going to be depressed, right? It's that. When someone's super, in that super emotional state, it's like they've abandoned logic, reason, and common sense. So it's, it's this question of what was taken from you. In this particular group too, it's an internal job. <laughs> right it's a fascinating spread this one it's an internal job what's happening here it's like within that the person that i'm talking about who's upset with the world and intuition feels like i don't i can't access my intuition and i'm full of confusion and doubt and i don't know what's going on right they've lost touch with their true north um, they're not connected to their heart and Within this person, it's like their highly emotional state has taken their logic, reason, and common sense uh, away from them. That's what I've come to with this spread. And the solutions are here. The solutions are these. Learning. We need to learn. We need to become a student. We need to understand that no one person on this planet knows everything and you know it's like we need to come back to some facts and some basics right the fact is that there is an election right the fact is that one of the two people who are there are going to take the position right and also it may not that's another fact um 
it's a fact that you can vote. It's also a fact that you don't have to. It's like we have to come back to some facts and some logic and some reason and some basic stuff like that. We can't get too wrapped up in our minds. This, this, um, there's fire and air here. And then we've got water and we've got earth. This is slightly different. I mean, I say it's the gem sag people that are getting quite uh, whipped up here. Um, but again, it's any one of these. Oh, it's a tricky business. But the solution and the other solution. So the solution is coming back to facts, coming back to basics, learning as well, learning how this, this world really does work. Um, learning is important, is going to be key here, recognizing that we're all students. And the other solution is either for this person or for you in relation to this person who's feeling all this, is to empathize, is to try and spend a day in their shoes. And how I was thinking about this was, um, especially with something like the election, right? I was thinking about the fact that any of those people who's turning up there putting on a suit every day and going and doing that job that in itself is actually a miracle that someone wants to do that right you know i i do my small channel and um you know i get i get people who uh, absolutely can't stand what i do for example you know or me and that's fine and but like um what i'm the reason i'm bringing that up as an example is to say that i visualize myself that would i want to do that president job and if I have to do it I guarantee you there would be people who would hate me and who would say you're doing it wrong and this and that and do you know what I mean and it's like as a world we are going to have to um, become less judgmental and realize that that job is hard and, and that we have people that actually do it is you know I know there are problems I know I know, but if we just think ourselves and we just stay, you know, if we stay away from the heart, right? We've all got to get back to the heart. So important, you know, and empathy. Empathy will help us to understand. And I gave the example of my simple job that I just do this simple job. And yet, you know, um, I get a lot of uh, people <laughs> who don't like But The reason I say that is because I visualize myself. Could I do their job? And no, I, I can't, you know, and I have an understanding of, um, of the, the world. My emotions haven't caused me to lose my logic or reason or the fact that I know that, you know, um, the world is what it is. We have to work with what it is. We have to work with what is. We have to work with what is here. And what I'm doing about for myself is I'm educating myself about what's really going on out there. Uh, and I'm learning every day. And I don't know, and I'll never know. I'll never know the world out there in full. I'll never know, right? I don't think anyone will. I don't think anyone, one person on this planet can know everything about this, this world. We can't map it all out. We can't pin it all down. So, yeah, what was taken from you your emotions have robbed you of your logic, reason, and common sense, or the person in your world. Okay, and I hope I've been able to deliver that in this most gentle of ways. Um, please know that when it comes to the world out there, it's good to take time out. It's good to not participate. It's good to um, meditate. It's good to believe me, you can transform all of this. You can have all of these right side up. If you connect with your heart, boom, that's the answer. I mean, just connect with your heart. Smile, laugh, right? Smile, laugh, be at home, right? That north position, be home. Smile, laugh, play, enjoy. All of these will go upright, okay? Um, and learn, learn, learn something new. Learn something unrelated to all that stuff, you know. Um, I've been learning, well, I'm learning tarot. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm learning Vedic astrology. I'm learning cooking. I'm learning, um, I want to learn gardening. I want, there's so many things I want to learn, you know. Learning, heart 
and the home and empathy, putting yourself in another person's shoes. And that will really, really help. And I do that. I put myself in the shoes of, do I want to, you know, God, what if I had to be a president or something? It would be so hard to be in. And I'm amazed that those people get up every day and keep doing that. I know there's a whole big conversation around that. I don't want to get into it, but I hope this has been helpful, group two. Um, the sun just says, you know, to really put yourself in another person's shoes and to, and to get back to your heart. Really, really, really important. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, um, please do leave a like. And I'm sending you lots of love, group two, to you, if it's you, this person who's going through this, or it's someone in your world who's going through this. Um, but as I say, it doesn't take much. You could watch a video of a cute kitten and boom, all of this will just be a beautiful picture straight away. All right, I hope that's been good, group two. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye. Hi, group three. I've got your deck here. All right, let's take a look at what you've got. Oh, I remember yours now. Yes, I know what's going on here. Okay, Reef Abundance. This is a beautiful card. This is one of the best cards to get. I love this card. Please use your intuition as we go through these. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time to take in each card as they come out. Okay, we've got Cave. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I'll tell you what I'm seeing from these cards. So we've got the Seven of Wands in reverse. We have got the Lovers in reverse. How beautiful. <laughs> they seem to be having a nice time. <laughs> and we've got this card which nobody likes to see. Let's face it, this is one of the toughest cards to get in a reading. But it is also one of my favourites, weirdly. I know you're probably thinking, why is it your favourite? That's a terrible card. No, it is, because it signifies the end, okay? You've completed something. Number 10 here. If you were getting a number 9, 9 of swords, um, I would be... that. That's a tougher card to get, I actually think. I think this is a better one, because this is the end. You've done it. I'm going to talk about what you have done and what all of this means now, but we have to have the sun appear, and the sun is here in the 11th house in the sidereal Vedic system. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, I remember looking at this one. This is an interesting one. So you've got a lot of blessings here for you. You've got a lot of love, a lot of angelic support, a lot of guidance, a lot of guides coming in and saying, remember to count your blessings. Remember to wake up and, you know, um, breathe deeply and be grateful for the oxygen and be grateful for the clean water you drink and the food and um, the money that comes in and and the money that goes out you know because you're nourishing someone else and like this there's a huge amount of abundance so that this is a great card to get these three I'm loving but this is where the interesting stuff is you are going through a bit of a tough time I do think and what I'm seeing here oops I just Sorry, I've got a charred, charred, um, this was a little prop from group number one, I'm going to move it, it's a match that I lit, but I'm just, okay, I'm getting distracted, you're going through a tough time, see that's why, because I, I didn't want to talk about this, so I instantly got distracted, um, okay, what's going on, there's a, there's a relationship in your life, now this is telling me it could be, um, yeah, it could be a partner, but it could be a friend. It could also be an older sibling. And there's, there's a problem in this relationship. There's been arguments. It hasn't been going well. By the way, if this isn't you, you can click into another group or another video or, or something else. So this is quite a specific one, this one. So I don't know who needs this, but it could also be an old issue. It could also be an ex that you keep thinking about or that's been on your mind a lot but for some reason you had to be defensive in this relationship 
Now, one of the things that um, I am seeing here is that if you, um, if you keep being overly defensive, like too defensive, you know how sometimes we can be very defensive and it's almost attacking somebody? There's the potential for that here. You could potentially be doing that. Um, and what I would say is that you, you don't have to be. Uh, I do believe that the situation is, is coming to an end. It, it's, it's, or it has come to an end or is coming to a, uh, an end. I don't mean the end of a relationship. It could be, but what it could be is a dynamic or a pattern or a, um, there's some dynamic, and especially in a family relationship, right? Like a sibling or something like that. There's something that you're not going to stand for anymore. But I will say that if you keep being too overly defensive, you that defensive energy could be attacking somebody. Okay, so don't you don't have to do that. Is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, but I, I I feel like that dynamic or pattern, or it could be something to do with an ex. It could be an ex that you've kept thinking about, or some pattern with a. Um, a love relationship if this is something happening in your relationship now um, know that the problem or thing will come to an end and it's, it's not a bad end at all it's good for you okay all of this is good for you that is for sure the other thing I wanted to say is that um, if you can successfully do this right have some proper proper cave time I'll bring these down a bit if you can properly have some cave time some recuperation really really um, look after yourself and nourish yourself if you can really do that if you can heal you will also uh, simultaneously heal what's happening in this relationship as well this person will either come with you and evolve with you or it will be a gentle departure okay so you'll be fine. I also think you've been exhausting yourself with um, this situation. So really the concept is you stop and stop being so defensive. And I don't want to make that sound like a directive or a harsh thing I'm saying, but it's like you don't, I guess what I'm saying is you don't have to be so defensive and really, really come and nourish yourself um, definitely, definitely come and nourish yourself. Have some cave time. The other thing that the sun is saying, the other thing is there is abundance here for you. Um, you will be looked after, you know, in this transition as well. The other thing I strongly get is the sun is in the 11th house of wishes, hopes, dreams and wishes. Now, if you successfully heal and, and do, and the sun is asking you to be happy, Ah, yeah, that's the other thing about this. When we look at this concept of what was taken from you, I would say that the cards are showing me that it's your happiness. Your happiness has been taken from you. That's what's been taken. And um, it has been taken by this relationship dynamic or situation or this problem or these recent arguments. Your happiness has been taken from you. And... Um, the thing I want to say here is that the sun is saying to you that this is yours, right? This is absolutely for you. Happiness is for you. Of course it is. And you can wish for what you want. It will come true. It's going to happen. You're going to leave these things behind. Um, I really strongly believe that the, this is a thing of the past okay you're not going to have to do all of this anymore it's come to an end as well if this was upside well actually upside down isn't so bad because then the swords are coming out um, that is an interpretation of this card as well it just depends right but I, I actually seeing it this way up it is signifying that you've gone through some pain it is I understand but this is a thing of the past um, you can wish for and even if, say, for example, this situation is to do with a sibling or friend or something like that, again, it's an old dynamic that, that won't be in this, whatever dream you want to wish for your future. And if it is that you're single and you're wishing for that new love, that's coming, that is in there for you. 
but it's going to depend on you nurturing yourself. The other thing I wanted to say is that this situation may have taken your happiness away, but part of the sun that you have to recognize is that you can give that to yourself and you have to give that to yourself, okay? That's part of your healing. You need to love yourself first. And probably that's why, that's, yeah, totally, I see what's happening here. And you're probably trying to help this person. I know, I know. It, yeah, I can see, I can see. So um, okay, let me try and say this. Let me try and, sometimes I get like all these thoughts jam in my brain. Um, this person doesn't love themselves, whoever you've been having a problem with. They don't love themselves. So you don't be like that, okay? And I, you know, I know you've been having to defend. It's okay. You, to a certain point, you need to do that, yes. Right? You need to stick up for yourself. You need to stand up for yourself. Nothing wrong with that. It's very good. It's very important. Please do that. But don't do it too much and let it go a bit. Let all this go. And that's why I push these off screen because I'm like, this is really your future. This is coming in if you just have some cave time and work on your abundance, work on your happiness, building up your reserves of happiness, building up your strength, your energy. That's abundance, right? You want to build that up. You want to build up your body. You want to get strong. You want to feel supple. You want to feel alive. You want to feel fresh. You want to feel good, right? That's abundance. You want that. Um, when you do that, when you feel healthy, you'll build your material abundance, okay? That'll just start coming in. But, you know, you might need to get healthy and well first because you have been drained. So cave time, time to recharge, recoup, watch the fun YouTube videos that you love, do all of that beautiful, nice stuff. Keep wishing. This is coming in. Absolutely. And this... And that can mean whatever you, you know, it can mean a partner, it can just mean taking your love to the next level, it can mean more self-love, it can mean divine love, it can mean all kinds of things. You choose, you choose, that. this is the wish fulfillment here, Sun in the 11th, you choose what wish you want, you choose, but it wants to come in, but it's, you're going to have to let this situation go up here and you need to nurture, you're going to need to rest, you're going to need to get strong and healthy as well, okay, and well, physically well, that is coming through, and um, abundance, totally, build it up, build it up, and this beautiful thing is on the horizon for you, so group three, I hope this has been a good reading for you, um, please do let me know below, and uh, yeah, give me a like and all that nice stuff if you feel so inspired. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you next time.